In this tutorial, I will show how to create legends for these daylight simulation done in Velux Daylight Visualizer. These ones are placed in a Revit legend, and I will show how to do that. First, I have saved the image from Velux Daylight Visualization by saying Save Image, so I can use this color legend within Revit. And I have also shown this is and I have also shown this in another video. I use both. I use the same I use the same image for both the legend and for the simulation underlay within Revit. Back in Revit, I go to View for creating a new legend. Choosing legend, giving a logical name. For example, scale, daylight, locks. And I choose the same scale as the overlay drawing, in this case 1 to 200, so it's easier to control and know how big these uh, legends or plants are. So I press OK to create a new one, and this one is totally empty. First, I go to architecture for creating some reference planes to have some guides. Just draw two reference lines, one in each direction, just to have something to snap at. Then I go to insert, select image to insert, select the file you just have exported from Velux, and say open, and then place the image. And now you can use these two, these two reference planes for placing the legend. So I have it selected and say move, choose to have some kind of point that I want to have as insert point, something like this. Now we have a lot of stuff in the image we don't want to see, and we can hide stuff by using region masking, by going to annotate and activate mask in regions. This one wants to have a boundary, so I will just create or draw a simple rectangular boundary, and I think I will have this part visible, and then I draw another boundary to uh, to hide the other stuff on the image. So this works in this way that if we have two close boundary, it will hide the stuff in between these boundaries. So when I say finish to this, then it will hide all the other stuff, so to say. And if I'm not satisfied with the with the size, I can select the masking region and grab these shape handles to have it in in the right scale as I want to have or I could select the image and move that up or down to get the right size as I want to have. So something like this is what I'm looking for. And then I can place this legend on my sheet. So I will go back to my sheet. This example I did in another video. So here I can place the just created legend. This one scale daylight lux and drag it onto the sheet. Something like this and then remove the title and then place it where I want to have it placed. So as we actually can see here, it we will hide stuff that is placed underneath in this case. So we shouldn't place it in, in this way. We should move it a little bit way up from the the grid lines, something like this maybe, to have it looking uh, nice. We need to be aware of uh, another thing. If we place it over the other image, then it will hide the image underneath because this because this mask and region will hide it. So it needs to be placed outside the other image. And when we have some reference lines or planes in a view, we can use them for snapping when we are on the sheet level because we cannot snap to anything in here except reference planes or grid lines for example. So this is maybe the result I'm looking for. So I can print this and document the daylight levels for this project as well as the traditional drawings.